Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my reading goals for 2024 and these were just easy to pick these were just ones that i was just like you know what i feel like these are goals that i would like to do so starting off it will be my goodreads goal so i did better than i thought i was going to do for 2023 so for 2023 i set my goal as 20 books and I ended up reading I think 30 so for 2024 I feel like you know what let's just set it at 30 and see if that helps to inspire me to read more again or whether 30 is kind of like doable obviously I would like to read more but at the minute my energy levels aren't great I'm currently going through a little bit of a cold as well I've just been like sneezing and like bunged up nose and just stuffy head so there's definitely something going on there but I definitely am in the reading mood so I, I am reading like every day even if it's just a little or I'm listening to audiobooks in my car so reading is getting done definitely but you know will it be more who knows it'd be great if I could get you know at least one book a week read and then that would just be amazing like wouldn't it so yes so 30 books i'm gonna see how it goes i don't want to like stress myself out too much i know i used to read really really well one year i read like 150 books but now it's just like where's the reading gone <laughs> like the older i get the less i read <laughs> so yeah fingers crossed that goes well next of all i would just like to get my net galley ratio up so i'd like to read more of my net galley books and i feel like that would actually really help i do have some physical books that i've got from net galley like books i ended up purchasing anyway because i do like to physically read books and also i do kind of feel bad when i don't have time to read or um i haven't been able to get to that review book so i purchase it in order to support the author as well as the publisher and that way i can physically read the book as well as have it as an ebook um for review and yeah then i can go from there so yeah it would be great to get my net galley ratio up it is really really low and the desired pass rate is 80 percent i don't think i would get that done in 2024 but i just would like to get it really really good so i'm really hoping and I'm and I'm you know I've been requesting less lately as well and only requesting books I definitely will read um or definitely do want to read and not like you know requesting just because and you know I'm not requesting you know a second in the series where I haven't read the first book you know for example so I'm being really good with that so I'm hoping that that will help and this will also go on to like my next couple of goals as well i want to use my library more since i've moved here the southampton libraries they're actually really good at getting new books and i have found that they have ordered like literally like the latest ya books the latest like romance books the latest like physical books and you just have to literally request it and there's no fee to request it either so i just think it's really great and i've already like borrowed like new books from the library um which is great like literally a book this month i wasn't in intending on putting on for this month because it meant that i would have to like purchase it but i managed to find it in my library and it's a book club read and i was just like you know what that's amazing and also it saves me money as well so i'm definitely planning on using my library more so this will save me in my book purchases unless it's an absolute favorite author of mine or like i need the next book in the series and i love the first book then i will want to have the next book so yeah but i just would like to use my library more also i'm planning on see i really really wanted to do the five to one book challenge where i read five physical books and i get like i allow myself one token but also because i'm doing like healthy lifestyle things as well i'm also thinking of implementing that into it as in like if i attend 
a gym session at like my local gym i'm thinking of giving myself a book token as well so i'm doing this as like a five to one but at the same time i'm going to implement my gym with it and this was only just like a recent decision so literally i have got two classes coming up that i have booked and i've yet to pay for them and i've only just started it for this month but i'm thinking to reward myself for attending the gym for a really good like lifestyle thing that i should reward myself with one book token and then when i get five then i'm allowing myself to purchase a book as a reward for being really good so this also is going to count towards re reading physical books as well of like my own tbr and i'm hoping it really helps to cut down my tbr and i just really, really do need to get my tb like my physical books down it's just crazy i mean i know it's really hard because there are books that come out from like my favorite authors that i just want or need the next book of and it is really really hard and obviously i'm kind of like hoping that you know it maybe it'll be on like net galley as well so that will save me getting it physically and then i could get it physically when i achieve my book token so yeah it's gonna like 2024 is literally gonna be a year of a lot of restraint but i'm just i was trying to think of ways i can help like my lifestyle thing like i've literally been doing this like diabetes awareness course um that's part of the nhs and they say that like it's really great to set yourself like these reward goals as well and like for me rewarding myself with a book would be great so i'm like rewarding my really good behavior by allowing myself one book token well five book tokens which will accumulate to one book so i've got my little jar it's i think up the top here somewhere and i've got my tokens so yeah i'm excited to see how this is gonna go and fingers crossed it does so starting as of now no naughty purchases obviously if I do receive a physical review book, I can't help that. That is literally just a review book. But I'm only accepting or requesting review books that I'm definitely going to read. Because one, I need to get my net galley ratio up. And also I need to read my Adelweiss books as well. And I don't want to bump that TBR up. So I need to like really just behave myself i've been a, i've been really good actually with my requesting and um yeah for example when i've been requesting graphic novel like mangas from netgalley i've new enough been reviewing them pretty straight away actually so i've been really good with that and that was literally the end of the year and i do like to um slot in some books all the time i am a mood reader definitely I do like to set TBRs as well. So my TBR probably will never ever be perfect, but I like to set them all the same. So yeah, I like to give myself the opportunity to have a TBR, but at the same time, I like to read books that I would like to read because my mood changes all the time. There might be a book that I'm suddenly like, I really, really want to read that now. and if I'm reading a book that I don't want to read, then I'm just going to be thinking about that book that I do want to read. So yeah, it's definitely going to be a lot better. But yeah, as for my channel and my videos, I think I just want to get better with my editing. And I've just really got to plan when I'm going to edit videos because last year it was awful. And even the beginning of this year, it's really hard to sort something out but there are many videos like this one where i'm still filming them because it's the beginning of the year videos where you kind of wrap up the year before so i think once i have all of those out the way then i just need to at least do one video a day apart from like my two days off of thursday and friday I don't tend to have time because most of the time I do fit my appointments 
and family spending time on those days so realistically i need to say that mondays tuesdays and wednesdays after work i edit a video and as long as i edit that video i can upload it in the evening that's literally no problem i can let it upload to youtube whilst i'm sleeping in fact it doesn't even take that long like i can literally let it upload and then it's done so yeah monday tuesday wednesday and then saturdays and also sundays but I, i'm tr i'm thinking of just focusing on monday tuesdays wednesdays and sundays just because i finish up, like afternoon time those days and they are the most likely ones so i'm thinking of using as those as my editing days or, or filming days so yeah literally like today for example is a sunday so then tomorrow i can edit videos tuesday i can edit videos and wednesday at least one video obviously i need to think about things like i will be doing gym sessions as well like possibly like mondays tuesdays wednesdays as well and they'll probably be implemented into thursdays and fridays as well it just depends on what i'm doing like it really just depends on the week but it should be pretty good it should be feasible and then hopefully i'll get to the point where i'm more up to date i'm just really really behind i'm still editing the videos and the vlogs from last year and it'll literally just be like that because i still have the footage and you know the vlogs are like my memories so i don't want to like get rid of those memories so yeah i will still have vlogs from last year that i will be editing so yeah those are pretty much gonna be like my goals really and obviously um i will do a video on like the books that i would like to reread this year and the books that i would like to read this year and um, i'm gonna do like a little unhaul project as well where um there's gonna be five books i've literally owned and they don't particularly jump out to me and you know if i don't get them read by the end of the year then i'm literally just going to unhaul them because obviously you know they're just not bringing me joy by just sitting there where i could have like an actual video where i can actually have another book there from the garage so hopefully it gives me a chance to read from those five books but yeah i'll chat about those in another video but this is just like my goals but now that i have settled into this flat now that i can work out with the gym as well as like you know being more positive in my life that should make more of an impact as well and having the motivation to read i do enjoy reading i love it so much and yeah now i've got this little chair this little armchair apart from when the cats sit in it of course to sit and read in it and yeah it would be just great to just get back on track again so i'm hoping 2024 is a year to do that but i like to set myself some goals to keep myself on the steady path to a helpful victory so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if you have then do let me know down below in the comments um and also give it a thumbs up and yeah let me know what your goals for the year are like what your goodreads goal is do you have like you know a goal that's similar to mine or do you have a different goal because i always like to know about that but yeah i hope you have a good 2024 for all the goals that you do set i hope you do achieve them and i wish you all the best for this year honestly but yeah that's it from me my social media links as always are down below in the description if you'd like to follow me elsewhere but that's it from me guys my name is katie keep smiling keep reading and be happy and i see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video bye